but my my only passion is uh, drawing. I just make that. I don't make some sports. I nothing. Just drawing and beer. It's drawing my... and beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, uh, welcome to Inside Comics with uh, George McHale. Really quick, if uh, you like this content, please uh, subscribe and tell a friend about it. Uh, today, my guest is uh, Vince Altabanis. Vince, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so uh, Vince and I uh, are creating a book called Resilient, and it's out on, uh, on Kickstarter and in Previews Magazine right now. Uh, and this is actually like our first time really meeting each other. Uh, we've been working on the book for like two years now, and uh, and it's finally kind of come together, found a publisher, and I thought now would be like an appropriate time to move past just emailing back and forth and actually like say hello to each other. Um, yeah. so it's like it's so I'm, nice to meet you. I'm I'm really happy to 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 meet you. Seriously, and you see you, uh, and uh, I see you uh, in in real is incredible for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. The, um, the master. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I love working with you, and uh, you put so much effort and passion uh, into into every panel, and I really appreciate it. Uh, me too. Um, I like. Um, um what you what um oh you 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 write every panel and your passion and uh, it's really cool uh, uh, to have a, a good uh, feeling with you because it's a it's a, it's a really hard work uh, because too many pages and too many panels and the story is uh, really cool for uh, now, I think. Yeah. Um, so resilient, in one sense, it's about a, a woman. She's a judo teacher, and she yeah. lifts her arms, and then yeah. she has, like badass, like robot arms, and she's, uh, <laughs> gangsters, and it's just like kind of really fun and bananas action. And then there's another side to it that's a little bit deeper, and it talks about you know, a couple that uh, is having fertility problems and they're having trouble getting pregnant. It talks about the trouble of, uh, of trying to recover from like a major injury and, and trying to like adapt to your new situation. So there's kind of two levels to the book. There's lots of fun, crazy action. And then there's like more of a, a deeper side to it. And um, mm -hmm. I really wanted to talk about um, these other subjects because um, I've been through some major injuries in my life. Uh, you know, I've had, uh, you know, problems with uh, pregnancies and things like this. So it was uh, a topic that I cared about a lot, but I also love fun action movies. And that's kind of like what I like to, um, to have for my entertainment is, you know, something with like lots of action and, and fighting and Kung Fu. I love Kung Fu. So it, uh, it's so a mix of it. It's a mix uh, in a Hong Kong uh, movie, uh, like uh, really action and uh, and something nineteenth uh, movie. Uh, it's uh, really um, a mix it to to the two, and uh, really like really like that too. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I I love the kind of the dialogue of you know of like a. Kevin Smith or Kevin Williamson, kind of the banter yep. between uh, characters, but I also love some kind of hard hitting action. And I feel like you were just the perfect artist to, to bring this all to life. Thank you. And, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, man. Uh, it's With a um, big car, uh, the, the red Chevy of, um, yeah. and, uh, and the car of Colum is uh, beautiful too. Oh yeah, yeah, we got some cool car chases in there too. Yeah, yeah, but you 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 show me uh, some reference uh, of character, and it's it's really cool. 
hey, it's really cool. I, I can uh, redraw it uh, to to my style and uh, improve it uh, with a Yolanda with a, a pink uh, mecha arm. <laughs> yeah. It's it's really cool. I I really like uh, the direction we um, we we have taken. Um, so I want to ask you, because um, a lot of the people who, who watch my channel are aspiring writers or aspiring artists, and I'm wondering if you can give uh, three tips for what every artist should do um, if they want to kind of break into comics or in, or in other forms. I know you work in video games and, uh, and hey. all sorts of other types of media, too. Uh, just... Um... Uh, my first tip is uh, practicing, <laughs> practice, 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 and to uh, just look, look your world, um, and uh, try try something. I I, I try uh, animation, uh, to the animation. I try um, After Effects for some animation, and. Um, uh, 3D and I try something, everything, every time, and uh, and it's it's really uh, really cool to 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 discover uh, the art and uh, three. Uh, if you use a reference, try to draw it. And not uh, directly, um, just uh, uh, re redraw on it. Just um, redraw on the blank paper. I don't know <laughs> in the white paper uh, directly. Yeah, I think but. I understand what you mean because, like, uh, when you're drawing from reference, you want to um, not copy the figure exactly, yeah, but exactly. interpret it in your style. Yeah. And and yeah, because exactly. so, it feels really stiff if you just try and draw it exactly, right? Where exactly. you don't, you gotta move. Because it's uh, uh, you you have some um, some video on YouTube. Uh, um, the the teacher explained it's a bad um, bad thinking if you uh, copy a reference. Just uh, analyze the anatomy and uh, for for understand what what is the base of the character and uh, uh, when you want to to describe a story and uh, just draw what the writer wants uh, it's better if you learn the anatomy and not just copy uh, basically and I, I think is a, it's a better spirit. Yeah, that's it for me. <laughs> oh no, there's so much, you know, like, so you're saying you gotta practice and that means you really have to be passionate about it because you're gonna put yeah, all, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of hours the into your work. First tips is the passion to practice and three, uh, just draw what you want and not uh, reference and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like you get pretty oh, experimental amazing. in the different types of uh, uh, forms that you work in with animation and with the after effects yeah, and yeah. all these other things. I, uh, I learn uh, the 3D, uh, uh, like uh, 3DS Max or ZBrush or, or now it's a Blender. It's uh, really hard for me. <laughs> but <laughs> And uh, it, it's just for for have too many possibility for make my storyboard and uh, it's it's my study uh, the the storyboarding for advertising and, uh, and normally I, I make some little storyboard one two three minutes for uh, TV spots or whatever and um, and it's uh, really cool to, to learn 3D because I can to make a camera and just um, visualize uh, where is my character, where, um, 
uh, all I can to 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 make my story on the box and and uh, and the landscape. You know, uh, getting back to um, drawing with the with reference and things like that. So I used to be uh, a pretty good artist when I was like uh, 12 years old. I was like, I was pretty good. I was like one of the best in the class. <laughs> and uh, and then when I decided that I wanted to make comic books when I was uh, like 35, um, I spent a long time writing my script and uh, and working at it. And I thought it was like really pretty good. So then I sat down to try and draw it myself. And I quickly realized that I needed professional help. I was, I was not. Uh, but the... it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a uh, work. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but but uh, I, I, I decided to, to make uh, a full digital for comic book because uh, the most important things is the story. Uh, and if you want uh, this character just uh, turn. Uh, uh, look at right or look at uh, left or uh, whatever. I, I can to change it uh, faster. And uh, and the most important thing is the story. Not um, not the drawing. Uh, we need to understand the action, but uh, I I think it, it, it's not the principal. Uh, ID is a really cool drawing with some. Uh, no, the the most important thing is the story for me. Well, um, there's a saying about comic books that uh, everyone buys issue one for the art. Yeah. They buy issue two for the story, right? That's what gets you mm -hmm. coming back because it doesn't matter how good the art is if the story stinks, <laughs> you don't want to keep reading it, right? Um, but I think it's pretty important to get someone to buy the first issue. So I, I think uh, I think I think they work in tandem to to. I, I love a lot of artists uh, from comic book, and uh, I I love the style of the artist. But the story is uh, really uh, not cool. <laughs> yeah. but it's it's really important. Yeah. So Vins right now, Resilient is in Previews Magazine. So if someone wants to go out and, to their local comic book mm -hmm. store, tell them to bring it in. It's, uh, it's from Absolute Comics. They do the White Widow book, I Make Boys Cry, and they always have really fantastic quality. So uh, you can go into your local comic book store and ask them to, to bring that in. Or you can go onto Kickstarter. Uh, on Kickstarter right now, we've got uh, exclusive covers, uh, and all sorts of different things. So uh, yeah, just look up uh, Resilience uh, on Kickstarter. It's partnered with I Make Boys Cry number two. They're launching together. So uh, Vince, I wanna thank you for being on Inside Comics, man. It's been so nice to, to get to, to meet you after you know years of working together. And- uh, You're welcome. Thank you too. <laughs> thank, uh, you. thank you. Thank you so much, dude. Peace. Peace. <laughs>